On this video, I'm going to show you how I organized my kitchen fridge. Three or four months ago, our fridge died and I thought, you know what, this is the perfect time to actually organize my fridge. I've always had containers and it was organized, but my other fridge, the way that it was made, it had the ice maker on the door and it took up so much room in the top of my refrigerator. So when we were looking for a new fridge, I did not want the ice and water in the door. I have the ice maker, and if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it of the nugget ice maker that we got and it was Amazon Prime Day and I am in love. So that's pretty much all the ice that we use. Now I do have the ice that's in the bottom of the freezer. I seriously, if I needed more room, I would probably turn off this ice maker and take the tray out and then it would give me more room in the freezer. But we have a deep freeze, so I don't need all that room. I keep in the freezer part, I just keep all our vegetables and stuff and then like french fries and chicken nuggets and stuff like that. All our main meat I keep down in our deep freeze down there and when I'm gonna get something out I just walk down there and grab it because it's not that far. I feel like mine is pretty but functional. I hate videos where they show it pretty and I'm thinking that is unrealistic that will never happen. Now it's gonna be beeping and carrying on while I've got the door open but I wanted to kind of show you how I laid mine out and some of my favorite Amazon finds. I love having clear bins in here to organize things. So like I have this one here that is just for meat. So if I'm thawing out some meat or something, I put it inside this bin so that if it leaks, I'm just washing this bin. I'm not having to wash the whole fridge because it's done drip from here down to here. It is contained. My very top, I have it set up for leftovers. I don't have any in there right now, but that's normally where my leftovers go. And then on this row, I have anything extra is in here. And then I put my lettuce. This row, I just do fruit on it. But honestly, this refrigerator has so much room in it. I don't have to have tons of stuff on each shelf. And another thing, I think labeling my stuff makes it pretty but it is functional too because because you can just look real quick and see what it is now i have always done this right here i did that on my other refrigerator i just think that that's pretty and i love how it looks it tells everybody in the house where things go if they put something back in the refrigerator they don't lay it on the wrong shelf Inside my fruit and vegetable area here, I have a more clear bins to put things in just to keep things separate so that sometimes, you know, you have things that you don't want them getting mixed up with other, but it also keeps it very organized. So if you're low on something, it will keep that item contained. And down here in the cheese and the deli area, I done the same thing. I just have these little Dollar Tree baskets that I got. I think they're like two for a dollar twenty-five. And then I just put the cheese in there so that when the drawers open and closing, it's not shooting all over the place. Now, one of my favorite things that I found off of Amazon, and it totally gives you more space if you need it, is these yogurt trays. You can put them on the bottom of here and then you can slide them up. Any of your surfaces for flat stuff and you can just pull these in and out and they're super easy. Now, I have to say the only thing is this little quirk, they give me so much more room, it doesn't bother me. But if you don't turn this the right way, you just turn that tab in there and then it'll hold them up. I don't have a problem with them falling down or anything, but this love. And another thing, eggs, I did not know this till I was researching, doing organization. You want the point going down that it's supposed to help them last longer because originally I wanted one of those little egg things. Every time you pulled off an egg, it would roll another egg out. One thing that I've never done and I bought these, okay, let me rephrase that. I bought these bins first and I, I 
personally, they, the, the, the lids don't snap on real good. They weren't my favorite. Maybe that's when I stuck it in the dishwasher and melted all of them. I don't know. I forgot they weren't dishwasher safe and I was in a hurry and I was just trying to get out of here and I threw them in the dishwasher and melted them all. This one is kind of melted. It's kind of a little bit crooked, but I still use it because of the size, it was perfect. But then after I melted those, <laughs> I found these and I have always just put the fruit in here and every morning I cut it up as I needed it. I'm telling you, having these with the little baskets that you can wash your fruit, you can cut it up, wash it, put it in there, let it drain and then stick it in here. It is such a time saver. Just cut it all up at one time, wash it, clean it, and then you're done. And I will link everything in the description box below. But these, these have been my favorite of the two that I got because they snap down closed very well. And I love the sizes. This was for my strawberries. This is for my blueberries. And then this one's for my blackberries. Now I have some Hello Fresh Mills in here and I, we are going out of town and I am going to utilize something like this. So subscribe so you can learn how I utilize HelloFresh when I'm going out of town. One of my favorite things of this was all the door storage. Like I've got cream cheese down here and then just some extra sauces. And then I have miscellaneous dressings, butters, dairy, which I know you're not supposed to do my research. You're not supposed to put your dairy in the door because it says that that is the spot that it's it gets the warmest because you're opening and closing the door all the time. But I have always put my dairy in the door and because this, the way it is, it works in the door better. I have my condiments, pickles, and jalapenos. Yes, I have a lot of these. We use the jalapenos for a lot of different dishes. And then pickles, I just got your regular pickles, wickles. I just wanted on this Two Cent Tuesday, I just wanted to give you my two cents on organizing the refrigerator. Till next time, like and subscribe.